Good morning. It's 5 a.m. I'm about to get ready and head to the train station for the Dream Plane Hustle workshop in Chicago. All right, guys, here I am in Springfield waiting for the train with my coffee, and here comes the train. And we are off to Chicago. It was a good ride. Nothing exciting happened on the way to Chicago. Got to Union Station and walked outside. Here I am fumbling with my phone to open the door. Walked outside and it was sprinkling, which was fine. Not a big deal. My shoes did get wet, but like I said, it wasn't a big deal. I got to see... A few minutes later, the drawbridge come up and let the sailboats through that were going under the bridges. So here's a clip of that. So I grabbed an umbrella and headed over to Atlas Stationers first thing. This was on my wish list to do. I had always seen Atlas Stationers and followed them on Instagram. And I knew I wanted to stop here while in Chicago. They have fountain pens, notebooks, planners, stickers, all kinds of things. So right whenever you walk in, you saw that giant fountain pen. I had a little wish list of things I wanted to get while there. And their employees were great. They helped me find everything that was on my wish list. I checked out the field notes section. And then um, right here at the end of the video, you can see what I snagged. And then I headed over to the Grand Lux Cafe. Very, very elegant um, cafe. I met Sherry for the first time, saw Carol again. Here is Chloe's dad hyping everybody up right before the doors open. Her whole family and friends were there to support her and help her. Walking into the room where the Dream Plan Hustle workshop was being held. Everything was so beautifully decorated. Here's some of the tables. The centerpieces were Aaron Condren planners. Here's another glimpse at our table. And here is Carol going through the swag bag that was sitting at our table. Each person got the same, well, sort of the same thing in their bags. There was a Wong Tong and a Million uh, planner that was, everybody got a different size. There's a Simply Gilded washi tape, zebra, mild liners, and pens, and then our goal setting planner from Erin Condren. Here you can see all of the items we got in our swag bags, plus some table mate gifts and some items I snagged from the D stash table. to see us accomplish and finish a goal that we've been talking about for so long. Then reality sets in. We realize that there are several challenging steps to get our goal. So after Chloe spoke, we had about five to 10 minutes before the raffles were drawn to hang out and chit chat. So that's what's going on here. And then the raffles began. Here is Sherry. She won two raffles that day. This was the Wong Tong in a million. You got a raffle ticket by wearing a t-shirt that said one of the Dream Plan Hustle t-shirts by participating in the workshop and for being there. And then here we are just getting a few pictures with Chloe and I asked her to sign my planner as a little bit of a memory keeper for the day. Here she is signing my planner and adding a little note to it.
So after the Dream Plan Hustle workshop, Carol, Sherry, and I headed over to the Starbucks Reserve. That guy's umbrella is a little messed up. <laughs> it was such a great experience. There are five floors and the top floor is a rooftop terrace. So the Starbucks Reserve Roastery was so neat. If you like coffee, I highly suggest going here while you're in Chicago. And it wasn't too terribly busy. I think I waited five minutes to order our food. So this is just a short clip of the fourth floor bar where the alcohol beverages are served. The baristas were really fun up here, dancing and singing. I got the malted cold brew float and a croissant. We sat on the third floor, which is the experience floor, right at the bar where you could see them make your drinks. After leaving the Starbucks Reserve, Carol, Sharon, and I spent a few hours walking around, exploring, taking pictures. We saw probably about three weddings taking their photographs um, outside in Chicago. After that, we went our separate ways and I headed back to the train station. Back at the train station, here I am getting ready to walk out to my train on the train and saying bye to Chicago. Here we did get delayed because a car drove on the tracks. So we were delayed for about 15 to 20 minutes. Here I am listening to the guy on the intercom tell us what's going on, giving us updates. So that was a pretty good delay. It probably delayed us about 15 minutes. And then we also had to slow down because of thunderstorms. Here you can see the lightning through the window. Finally making it back into town. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my video and I hope to see you at the next Dream Plan Hustle event.